Hey gamers, Maniac here with GamingSess.net doing another how-to for you 4K users. I've just upgraded to a 4K television and of course I'm using a 4K camera to film this. But I just want you to know the best way to get the best out of your... Well, this is a Samsung 4K TV. I don't know if other TVs have this problem, but this pro TV did have this problem. But it was an easy fix and that is of course 4K HDR support. On the label and on the box and on my receipt, it does say that this particular television supports 4K HDR. And when I ran my Xbox One X uh, to do a diagnostic on that, it came out only partial support. But I was able to fix it with absolutely no updates whatsoever. And here's how I did it. Um, I hit the uh, settings button on the TV. And normally these are used for adjusting your picture and sound, and they are. You can use it to adjust picture and sound. I recommend keeping it in dynamic, 16 by 9 mode. Um, uh, standard audio output right now. But here's where you want to go. You want to go to the general option. You want to go to external device manager. This is important. You see how it says HDMI UHD color? Now your device may vary on this. But this is what it was called. I enabled HDMI uh, UHD color on HDMI 1, which is where my PS4 is currently located, and HDMI 3, which is where my Xbox One's located. Um, I have HDMI 2 plugged into my Nintendo Switch, and that does not support HDR at all as far as I know, and so I don't have it enabled. I think my brother-in-law tried doing that at one point and, um, on a device that didn't support it, and he got no audio. So, anyways, when I enabled those things, I reset my Xbox, and all of a sudden, all the, the same HDR support uh, logos that went from only partial support all went to full support. So, it's a good thing to know. Make sure you don't enable HDR. Some games do require HDR support, uh, HDR manual activation and that sort of thing, but if you have HDR automatically activated or set to auto on your consoles, it should work just fine. Just make sure that it's set on the TV input. Until next time, guys, my name is Maniac with GameAccess.net. Take care, over and out.